this tutorial is to show you how to use Common Lit and the tools that are available when you are doing a reading. So the first thing that I want to show you is where you can access your assignments. So I'm going to focus my mouse and up in the top corner we see that we have a little bell and a little person. The little person shows you your user information and the little bell shows you any notifications. The quickest way that I've found to get to your assignments is to click on the little bell and then it will show you how many assignments you have to submit. So I'm going to click on the one that I need to do right now. And the first thing it's going to show you is a little bit of information about the reading that you are going to be trying. And after you've read that little introduction, we're going to go ahead and click got it. So when we are looking at the assignments here, starting from the top, it tells me that my assignment is still in progress right here. So I've not finished it yet. It also tells me when that assignment is due. So I've got the due date up at the top here. I also have a couple of different options. So when I start looking at the information, the first thing I notice is font size. So this gives me the ability to change how small or large the reading is. So if you need to make it smaller, you can click on the smallest button and notice how our words have shrunk here. And if I need them a little bit bigger, I can click on the size that makes them bigger and my words have grown. So I'm gonna leave it on this highest setting here. So the other things that I have in terms of my options start with the reading. So readings are numbered here. So I see that I have my lines numbered. I also see that I have a little bit of these numbers here. When I click on that number, what it does is it pulls up a dictionary entry for what that word means. At the bottom of the screen, underneath the notes section, we see that those numbers correspond with the numbers that were inside of the reading. So that's kind of a good helpful tip for us if we're looking at something we're not quite sure of. The other things that we have are read aloud function. If you would like this to read to you, you do have the option to turn on, turn on the read aloud function. There is also a translate button. I would encourage you to read it in English first, but if you're still struggling with some of the words, you have the option to translate. And what this does is it pulls up a menu that asks which language you would like it translated into. And it also shows you the little, the little globe over here. When we click it, it translates the line for you. So use this tool to help you if you're stuck on any of the vocabulary. And I'm going to go ahead and click Hide Translate because I don't need it right now. You can toggle this on and off just by clicking it. So if I click it now, it will turn on the translate and then I can hide the translate. The last tool I want to show you has to do with this little highlighter here. So you can annotate this text and that means that you're writing on it. So let's say I'm reading and I want to remember this idea of sushi bar. I'm going to highlight it and off to the side here what we see is two options, add annotation and highlight. We can highlight in any color that we want so I'm just going to choose yellow and it has highlighted for me. If I want to leave a note I'm going to highlight the text again and click on this little T and this allows me to type. So I can leave a note for myself, something like, yum, I love sushi. And then once I'm done typing, you can just click done. Now what we see is that there is a text annotation for the information that I put here. So I highlighted it and I wanted to remember something here. This is a great tool for us to get comfortable leaving ourselves notes as we read. And then the very last part of any common lit assignment is the assessment questions. So there are going to be different types of questions that are assigned to you. Some of them are multiple choice, like this one right here, and some of them are going to be short answer. As you are doing this assignment, we would just continue through the same way we would do any other assignment. So I'm just going to pick some answers so that I can show you how to get through this. So my last one is a short answer. So I'm going to go ahead and just type short answer and then just hit save and next. Make sure you click on submit assignment and submit assignment. After this it shows you what assignments you have finished. Remember that I will look these over and get back to you. All right everyone, please let me know if you have any questions. Good luck!